Vintage Mario, who he has been soloing since the dawn of time, ladies and gentlemen. DM with it's, his it, Pikachu. It seems Mario players, the, all Mario players are just playing Mario. They never just switch to Mario. They're just always Mario. Oh, yeah, same. I mean, I, I can confirm. I definitely use Palu for swords. Anyway. <laughs> Dark is he throwing his teammate for a hot second. <laughs> All right. And here we are. Already got some good damage tacked onto the red team right now. This is a Tri-State versus a New England battle. New England is basically Tri-State, though. We've claimed them for quite some time, though. There are boys. There are boys and girls over there. Anyway. Dark Rafi Wizzy juggling Rafi as much as he can. And Dark Wizzy being one of the probably the best doubles players in, in Smash. Because the consistent results that he has in doubles is ridiculous. And Nairo just going to stay back with Palo. Just going to go ahead and throw these projectiles out. Mario getting this Ombi out. And now we have kind of a squished situation over here. Yeah, already a lot of damage tacked on to Rafi X right there. That is not surprising though. Rob, of course. Oh, and the charge down smash actually catches a neutral get up right there. That was a really good play by Dark Wizzy right there. But the side beat is going to do it on Nairo right there to even out the stocks immediately. I was going to say, Rafi, with all the damage that he had on, he's the biggest boy on the stage right now. The biggest character, not just in terms of weight, but also in size. And with characters that juggle as well as Mario and Palutena, He's gonna get bounced around a lot. He's gonna get bounced around like it's his robot farm. <laughs> Chip up. That's what's going to happen right there. So Rafi is definitely gonna have to watch his landing. Ooh, what us? What a projectile explosion from Nairo just sniping out DM, getting that kill. Ooh, and the nair to the regrab right there, trying to get him off stage. Nairo, that's just crazy to be going off stage to get that damage against DM right there. Pikachu was one of the uh, Pikachu was just the amazing recovery that that character has always had. But Palu, of course. Palu, of course, just a jack of all trades character. She's good in almost every single situation in this game. It's part of what makes her such an amazing character. So, not many characters can go off stage and mess around with like certain characters, but Palu definitely can with that falling neutral air. And Rafi with the air dodge up, miss uh, trajectorying, uh, miss uh, spacing his space by the ledge right there, trying to air dodge up to grab it, but unfortunately, it's going to cost him his stock. And now we're putting a lot of pressure on Rafi. And on the other side, we got Wizzy throwing DM right into the mix and wanted to just say, we're going to go ahead and throw both these characters onto the side. He does move pretty fast on the ground, so he wanted to throw and get into that situation. That is the Dark Wizzy awareness, realizing how fast that his movement is compared to his teammate. Gets the up, he challenges Rafi. DM uh, getting back aired by Nairo. Nairo going in, immediately trying to cover the space. Dark Wizzy can't. Dude, it's the Dark Wizzy awareness. It's the Dark Wizzy stock tank right now. Look at this. Nairo on the blue team, the only member of the team to lose a single oh! stock the whole time as they're just playing ping pong back and forth, getting all that damage on DM right there. And even more Dark Wizzy. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to read an air dodge right there. In Smash 4, though, I mean, people people don't air dodge I mean, as much as they used to do in that game, my friend. It's not as common, you know, for Mario to get that dunk read. But, of course, the up air strings now even easier with fast falling, now truer with fast falling as well. So he'll be able to get certain dunk situations out of that regardless. You can't blame Mario for wanting to go for a dunk. It's I like asking a tiger to not like me. I understand that, but DM also, as well, being a Pikachu, he can't afford to take the drop in, you know, vertical height. And he can just drift away because that recall. That Nair is unfortunately threw right into it, and Nairo just getting hit, and Dark Wizzy coming from above, just falling down unscathed into that Help mess. Me. <laughs> yeah. But so far, like the game, uh, oh, I was just about to say, the game was pretty much almost evened out. Dark Wizzy lost the stock, and Nairo was already on his last one, but they were able to finish off Rafi right there, and now all of a sudden we have a very light character in Pikachu against both these characters with immaculate kill powers. That up to the up air almost does it. The explosive flame, invincible kill box is going to be able to do it instead. Pikachu's such a light character. Pretty much anything is going to kill at that point. Still a really good character in the 2v1, but when you're that light at 100% against characters with such strong kill power as Mario has with his forward smash and his up smash, and Palu has with her everything, it's um, I mean, it's hard to deal with. What moves of her don't kill? Down tilt. Down tilt I, sets up into kills, but I, it doesn't I guess kill. I guess a forward air, uh, not sweet spotted. It doesn't for forward air, not sweet spotted. Just pings a little bit. Oh yeah, that, I think that is true actually. And you saw like he hit, he hit with the uh, beginning parts of the up air right there. Like, yeah. Out of that, of that, he, out of that dark was he up here trying to kill? just kill. fell out of it. Yeah. That would have killed at that position. So but we're going to go right over to PS1. The first PS2. The first couple of hits of Palo's up air not killing. I'm sure nobody knew that. Dropping that hot commentator knowledge on the mic, on the mic for you. We're here. Pokemon Stadium is the pick. Let's oh, get right into it. Nairo going a little bit too deep. I think it was a little accidental. But is able to recover because Palutena's recovery does have quite the distance on top of it. Quite the distance and quite the teleport as well. You can't exactly hit that one in the middle of it coming back. I mean, one thing I think that people don't do against Palutena. Oh, no. oh it's oh. Dark Wizzy! Getting spiked by Rafi, throwing that Rob down air. And oh, <laughs> getting I, pretty hard out of the top of that. 
but just gonna push, put that pressure on and use that neutral air just as that approach tool, throwing that dark wizzy down and trying to do this 2v1 himself. DM just trying to poke in. I like that situation from Rafi. He had the up throw on, uh, he had the up throw on dark wizzy right there, but instead of forward airing him, he saw Nairo coming in from behind him to clutch it out and uh, to run in and save his teammate. And then he just turned around and fared in the other direction. It was really good uh, situational awareness by your boy right there. A he little tried too it again. high, a little too high for the uh, the down air spike hitbox. Up and down air, but not that time. No. The perfect spacing that time for Rafi X I'm getting it. I'm getting it against his teammate. He got the wrong person. Oh wait, really? Yeah, he got. Oh, his... <laughs> oh god, you're right. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even notice. Oh, oh no, oh. you saw a kill and you thought it was Palutena. No, because that Palutena was right there too. She was like right she, below him. She had the invincibility on the ledge. Oh, that was some top tier. That is a little unfortunate. But ever done to see it right there. Oh my goodness, never mind. Side B, not going to be able to do against Wizzy. His percent is a little too low. Another one by the ledge, uh, not by the ledge, but off the ledge will definitely do it right there. The aggressive forward air trying to start a combo on Rafi right there to fight his way back onto the stage. But he's going to make it back on stage just fine, and the blue team. I'm going to say securing a slight lead right there, but Rafi able to up smash Nairo, evening out the stocks. So the thing was is that uh, you saw DM throw that forward smash out uh, to get Rafi. He was trying to make sure that he can interrupt them out. He can't hit the team, but he can try to hit Dark Wizzy out. He did, he did hit his teammate out, but that's better than getting thrown by uh, Wizzy. Yeah, good fair to try and continue that combo off of the Palutena down throw right there. Forward throw into the gyro, not going to be able to do it. Rafi going very deep for that edge guard, but he's going to be able to find his way back nice and easy. And blue team with all the stage control in the world right now, Shippo. Look at this. Red team has to like bob and weave with the defense if they want to be able to do it. And, and he, up smash, not killing his teammate that time. Barely, but he just to get a lot of these kills out. It looks like Rafi is the one just you know, sort of getting these raw you know, up smashes, down airs, and that's getting most of the kills, not only for him, but also his own team. And unfortunately, that scream is the death scream of DM going, and then that is Rafi X getting hit as well. Nairo's still sitting on his second stock, but everyone at low percent, their final stock. So Nairo is gonna stock tank this one extra stock, make sure that he does not get killed early to make sure that if um, his teammate Wizzy does happen to lose that, his team is able to steal that stock back from him. Yes, sir, this is the perfect situation where so many players would say, oh, looks like the blue team has a really solid lead. Now Nairo can die at any second. Dark Wizzy can get gimped at any second, then he would have to take the stock. Then all of a sudden the game would not even be even. It would be in the favor of the red team. That is why Nairo has to be very, very careful right now, stock tanking right now. And he is as the damage slowly but surely tacks on him with those thunder jolts coming out from DM. But he is still alive right there. He's not putting himself in any position for that up smash right there, forcing DM to air dodge to get, uh, uh, to get away from the uh, explosive flame right there. And Nairo, of course, still alive as Dark Wizzy is putting in so much work on Rafi X to tack on that damage and just close out this set and close out this game right now. Unless the red team has anything else to say about it, and they do with the dash attack right there. And all of a sudden, we are even in stock counts with Rafi sitting at a uh, relatively high percent, but he's a very, very heavy boy. You oh, never know, no. especially if you get down there. But he didn't, he didn't get recovery. sweet spotted, so he was able to recover in time, get up, get the up B, because that would have spelled disaster for Nairo Dark Wizzy if that happened to kill for it. And that is going to kill. We now have a 2v1 situation again, but this is all oh, good. And the wall. The timing on that, absolutely pristine off of that. Yes, yes, my friend. The Trump wall is amazing for setting up team combos, my friend. It's just, that's that up smash is already good enough as it is in uh, singles. It can block uh, approaches by the ledge. You can catch people off guard with it if they're above Palutena. But in doubles, easiest team combo kill setup in the world. Because oh, yeah, all you have to it, do so is wait tall. for a throw. Mario's back throw, which he spins you around a couple of times in reference to Mario 64, gives his uh, teammate all the time in the world to react to whatever option the they have. Enough time to literally, you're passing that? This is how much time I have. I can just go ahead and... This is yours. You take a drink. <laughs> if you want, you can have some. And I don't see you have a water. You gotta watch that throw, my guy. I know. But yeah, Palutena's up smash. Immaculate for team combos, and right there, you see him putting it through right there. Good stuff to the uh, blue team, I believe they were, in Nairo and Dark Wizzy. Oh, whoop. Moving on to uh, winner's finals. We are, and right in a moment, we want to just let you show that Master Hand Game presents Gloves Off, a Smash Bros. podcast. You go ahead and watch it at soundcloud.com slash M-H-G-G-O. Smash Bros. podcast featuring the gracious owner, founder, and host of the podcast, Chris right there, along with Koopa. Y'all know him, you love him. Hosting that podcast together, having various guests on. But if that's not, if that doesn't tickle your Smash fancy enough, I mean, you can fly out to Prime Saga. The 2GG event in their home turf this time, La Mirada, California, April 13, 14, 2019, flying out all the Metroid uh, players, the Samuses, the Dark Samuses, the Zero Suit Samuses, and the Ridleys. 
I was going to say the Dragon Samuses. The Dragon Samuses? Anyway, yeah, 2GG Gaming, Prime Saga. You're not going to want to miss that one. It's going to be a hell of a tournament coming out for you guys. I think we have some time for some more ads. I know we switched back to the casters right now, but there are people still sitting down. All right. Perfect. Uh, actually, 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 this no, is never not mind. Finals, never right? mind. We're good. This is Mars and Light against going up against Rosa, Rosa Hasman. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, let's, see, let's see if, ha let's see if no, uh, no. Hazmat can get that, uh, no, sorry, if Rosa can get that uh, double left smash again. Hazmat is going to brag forever if he wins this <laughs> to Mars and Light. We're going to hear that forever. on stream. We're just going to see, like, we just beat Mars and Light. Yeah. <laughs> no, not just that. He's going to be like, because he's, you know, he's from New England. He's the New England caster. would be like, yo, I beat both our top players. <laughs> I'm a caster from the region. What are you I'm guys doing I, losing to him? I'm just a commentator. <laughs> Just heavenly hashtag, just a commentator. But Mars and Light, you already know it. You already guys saw him on the stream right now in their team of Fox and Ike. Or the CSS might come out from Mars. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And Hazmat, of course, rocking his Ken uh, along with Rosalina's Rudy Incineroar. Play. Thank you. Oh, uh, my God. The first Incineroar we've seen all day. The first one on stream here at Suplex City. The wrestling character. <laughs> Incineroar. All right. Also, but shout yeah. outs. Last round, um, uh, DM was playing Pikachu Libre. Uh, shout outs to on my shirt. We have a little Libre already. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, uh, going up with fun, a. Fun fact Libre is actually a girl Pikachu. I you can tell yeah. by the tail notch. Mm -hmm. The heart tail. All of the cosmic Pikachus oh. are indeed the same female Pikachu, actually. Oh, really? They're the same Pikachu. Oh, every Pikachu that has a costume in this is the same. Well, no, no, no. Uh, the, this, the, of like the lore, like Pikachu oh. Libre or like. Um, not Pikachu. Okay. <laughs> the other ones for like you know beauty and like, I like smart and like the other ones in Pokemon contest, they're all the same Pikachu dressed mm. up as different things. Right, right. Libre is the only one that caught on. I thought you were talking about.